I see the kind of the, the role of uh, curator as firstly being one of responsibility. Uh, but that responsibility gets pulled in a number of different directions. There's clearly a responsibility to the history, to tell the history fully, accurately, responsibly, and uh, as honestly as, as we're able to do so with the, from the evidence that we have available and uh, to be able to narrate that, that history in its complexity and its fullness. But there's a responsibility also to the visitor and uh, in particular when you are narrating a, a story of atrocity and destruction, some of the, the depths, the worst of humanity, how do you support a visitor as they're going through an exhibition like that? How do you move them without traumatising them? It's important that we don't sanitise this history, but we also, of course, don't want to incapacitate the visitor. We, we need them to be able to go through this exhibition and to learn deeply. And so the responsibility to the history and the responsibility to the visitor are, are at the foremost of our minds. There's a responsibility also to the victims and to the survivors. And uh, it means that when we make curatorial choices, we're always trying to balance this uh, history of destruction, which can be seen maybe as the, sometimes unfortunately, that people arrive on the historical stage to be victims. And clearly that's not the case. People had um, their own personal histories, they had their biographies, they had their homes and their lives and their loves. Uh, we want to try and show the, the real people behind this destruction and to give them a voice as well. And in terms of how we choose the artifacts and the photographs and the stories that we display, we want to try and show how not only how the Holocaust happened, how Auschwitz came to be, but also how people responded in many myriad diverse ways to uh, that unfolding genocide, uh, stories of resistance and resilience and courage.